In this Android Studio How To segment, I'm going to teach you how to create your own virtual device that way you can test your Android apps on them. To create a virtual device, select on the drop down next to the run button and then open AVD Manager, which stands for Android Virtual Device Manager. Then select Create Virtual Device. You can see over here that we have a list of devices that Android Studio is providing us with. However, we'll be creating our own vir Android virtual device. And the benefit of this is that you can specify more custom properties, such as for the device size or DPI of the device. So if you go to tablet and select Nexus 7, you can see that it has a relatively low DPI compared to its screen size. And it's pretty low compared to phones these days. In this tutorial, we'll make our own tablet that has a higher DPI, as well as some other modifications. In order to do this, select new hardware profile. The first step is to name your device. I'm going to name it Tablet 2, since I'm creating a tablet and I already have a one that I've made previously. Leave the device type at phone or tablet, and for the screen size, you can change that however you want. I'm going to make mine 7. Now, I'm going to quadruple the number of pixels that my tablet has by doubling each of its dimensions. And this is one of the benefits of creating your own virtual device. You can be more specific in factors such as the resolution, and even the screen size where it could say something like 7.3 inches. But I'll just leave it at 7. I'm also going to leave my memory at 2 gigabytes. For the remaining checkboxes, you can leave them checked unless you don't want your device to have like a back or a front facing camera or GPS. But for testing apps, I would leave these checked. Once you hit finish, it will create your device and you can see it over here. But the last thing you have to do is specify the system image. And this is basically the version of Android that will run. So right now mine is the latest, Android R as of June. And I'm going to press next. And then it shows here, this is what the Android virtual device will look like. And its startup orientation will be portrait, which means it's going to be vertical. If you want it to be landscape, you can choose that as well. But I'm going to go ahead with portrait and hit finish. Upon doing so, you can see my tablet over here. Now I will test it by running the irrigation app on it. And the irrigation app is an app I created that's available on the Google Play Store. The link is in the description. After your Android device runs for the first time, which may take a while, you can see that I have my tablet over here open with the irrigation app. And one the notable thing about it is that it has a far higher resolution than the Nexus 7 would have had. And if I zoom in, you can observe that. I can also take a screenshot. And then if I open it up over here in Finder and show it to you, you can see that the dimensions are 2160 by 3840. And indeed, if I do zoom in, you can see that it's pretty high quality because we specified our custom dimensions for the, the, for the device. So in this tutorial, you learned how to make your own virtual device. And now if you wanted to delete it, you could just click over here on the drop down and then select delete. In a, in a future tutorial, I'll show you how to manage the extended controls for your virtual device so that you could handle things such as the camera, SMS messages, location, sensors, and more. Until then, subscribe to IJ Apps and happy developing.